Good morning guys, I finally get to take the bike out. We're going to be testing out the new uh, tires, the Night Dragons. As you guys know, I love my Metzler Crustex, so they are going to be extremely hard to beat. I'm not going to push them today, it's just going to be running them in, trying them out. The other thing is that I replaced the rear brake pads, as you guys can see right here. And I also have these uh, shorts that I'm trying out there, biker shorts, so I'm interested to see how they're going to feel and if they uh, are going to uh, provide additional comfort. Here's a picture of what they look like. I'll let you guys know about it in the future. Additionally, this is the first time that I'm actually going to be riding the bike after I change the bearings, both the front and the rear, as well as, if you guys remember, I changed the chain as well as the sprockets, both front and rear. So this is going to be running all systems. We're going to be taking it extremely slow, nice and easy to make sure that uh, the bike is uh, good to go. Currently I have 24,229 miles on the bike and this is when I ended up changing the chain and sprockets as well as putting on new tires. The previous tires which are the Metzler Crustex lasted 16,000 miles but they could have lasted uh, quite a bit longer but what happened was that when I was riding in the rain I did feel them that they started to slip sooner than they did when they were brand new so there's no point and I'm a curious guy as you guys know I wanted to try the new tires so I took this advantage to invest in them and share my experience with you guys hopefully this will help you out if you are considering new tires a lot of you are waiting for this information to see if you should go with the Crustex or with the Night Dragons so let's go uh, test them out Okay, we set the trip meter, it's at uh, zero miles now. And this is the very few meters on the new tires. Yeah, for the first tip in, they felt pretty good, man. They actually uh, tipped in real nice, so I'm curious to see how they're going to do. We are going to be taking it easy, like I said, because I still have uh, brand new rear pads on so I need to bed those in that's going to take a little bit of time to uh, bed them in I will also be replacing the front brake pads but I didn't do that because it's not very smart to change both of them at exactly the same time because you will have to bed them in so what you're risking is riding for a period of time without optimal braking uh, power until you bed both of them in so I prefer to go about it a different way bed one in and then in the future bed the second one in so i have about uh, four miles on them now and we're coming up on some twisties since uh, i ride these uh, roads often i know exactly how the metzlers feel so let's uh, maintain same speed start to tip in very nice holds the line very stable very nice very nice all right we're getting uh, some more actually when you lean it wants to stay leaned. Interesting, very different feeling than the Metzlers. I guess also don't forget guys, the Metzlers were starting to square off because of the amount of highway miles I've done on them. Let's see this section over here. This one's a little tight. Very nice. They feel very secure, if that's the right word to use. It's funny, when they tip in, they just hold the line. A little bit uh, faster speed. Interesting, they don't feel greasy actually. You know how new tires, they're very greasy when you uh, try to run them in. I didn't feel it with this one. I did feel it with the Metzlers though. We've done about 11 miles on the bike and since we changed so many different components on the bike it's actually important for you to stop after a certain amount of time. I chose about 10 miles that way I can park, check tire pressures, look at my wheels, look at my tires, inspect them closely, look at my new chain, check the slack, look at my sprockets, see if the alignment is still there and that way before we get on the highway we know that the bike is in good health. Let's check the chain. It's got a little bit more slack than what I had said it, but that's normal because the chain is hot right now, so it's stretched a little bit. 
All right, everything uh, looks good. Let's uh, hit the road. So I've taken the bike up to 65 miles an hour and it feels fantastic. Nothing abnormal about it, very steady. So now I'm gonna head out on uh, the interstate to take it up to 75 and 80, progressively of course, just to make sure everything is good to go and to get a feel for these tires. weird uh, my cruise control won't come on interesting stop by over here and check it out I'm gonna get off the highway over here to troubleshoot to see what's up with this uh, cruise control perfect let's get under the bridge over there in the shade Okay, let's shut it down. The bike has been off for about a minute and a half to two minutes. Uh, let's uh, start it up again and see if we get uh, the same thing. Looks like the light is on, but I'm not sure if that's because we got to get moving. Let's try it out. Okay, so it seems like it's working. I'm not sure if this has something to do with the fact that the bike has been parked for over a month and maybe there was a slight uh, reduction in voltage the bike detected it and then that's why it shut off that system so only way to tell is to take it back on the road so far so good it's still on let's get back on the highway let's set the cruise control and see what's up okay so far so good we'll keep an eye on it on this ride we're doing about uh, 75 and the bike feels great man however keep in mind I do feel more buzzing I don't know if that's the right word to use but they're a little bit more buzzy I feel it in my feet and actually when I stop I felt that my feet uh, and hands are a little bit numb that's unusual I did feel it with the Metzlers tire pressures are the same so we'll see once they break in if that's uh, still the case then that's that's a negative for the night dragons we're doing about 80 bike feels very good very stable I'm gonna give it full throttle to see how it behaves Rock solid. Okay, so we've done about 43 miles uh, so far. And to be completely honest with you guys and Frank, I'm not impressed. I, I'm not impressed. I'm sorry, guys. I, I wanted to have a different opinion, to be honest with you. I kept an open mind, but relative to the cruise techs. So my experience going from the Dunlop to the cruise tech versus going from the cruise tech to the night dragon I didn't feel any difference uh, they are a little bit buzzy uh, so far what I have felt on this ride and it's only been 43 miles I don't want to pass judgment yet of course I'm gonna keep the tires but uh, just sharing everything that I felt now that it's still fresh in my mind so uh, it, it is a little bit tippy so it wants to tip which is a good thing however when you're trying to pick it up from when it's leaned over it feels like it's a little bit heavier than what it is on the cruise deck if that makes sense so let's say I'm leaned over to the right if I want to straighten it back up it takes a little bit more effort to bring it back up uh, I don't know if it's because they're a heavier tire 
or they are a harder carcass, I don't know yet. Again, I'm not going to pass judgment. I'm just going to continue to ride on, but just wanted to tell you my very first impression so far. And uh, it remains the same. I'm not very impressed. We have about uh, almost 55 miles an hour and I'm back to my favorite place, my favorite road, Skyline Drive. And if you guys remember from my trip back in uh, February when I went to Texas, this is where I actually concluded uh, that uh, video. And this is one of my favorite views ever. If you guys remember, it was still winter back then and it wasn't this green. Just look how gorgeous this is. Well, they are repaving the road. So this is even a much better real life test than I had anticipated. But check out these views, man. This is awesome. I love coming up here, man. Tires are still good. Uh, like I said, they like to tip in. So tipping in is effortless, man. It, it just loves to tip in and hold the line like that. Coming back up again, you feel like you have to fight it a little bit to bring it back up. But so far, so good. And this is gonna be one of my absolute favorite views on uh, Skyline Drive because of how wide open it is and what you can see from up here. It's awesome. Look how beautiful. And you should see this in the autumn with all the leaves changing colors. That was a good test. We've done uh, about 80 miles so far, so not bad. I'm gonna get off uh, Skyline Drive. Yeah, the turn-in characteristics are a little bit different than uh, cruise text, but look at the stability. It's very, it loves to be leaned over. The cruise tax as well, they love to be leaned over, but this one just feels a little bit different. It's hard to describe, but yeah, I mean, uh, they're similar, but a little bit different. Going down the mountain, this road is actually excellent as a, as a test, but it's going downhill. so far oh beautiful 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 hold the line tight very nice let's see how they do over here Sinking real nice. There's a nice sweeper over here to the right after this one. in right here so as you can see you guys yes 
they are good they are grippy uh, they they tuck in real nice they hold the line real nice they felt very stable on the highway but even though I have earplugs as I'm talking to you now I can actually hear the buzzing and I think that buzzing is what is creating this high-pitched or high frequency vibrations I should say which are causing me to have numb hands and numb feet these are the first impressions I uh, don't know how they are going to break in a little bit uh, later in a few thousand miles I currently have what I did 137 miles so far and uh, so far so good but again like I said I'm not overly impressed again guys you know take it for what it's worth I'm comparing this to the reaction that I felt when I put on the cruise text relative to the Dunlops okay I'm not saying that these tires are bad don't get me wrong as you can see clearly they're very good right and maybe I'll have an opportunity to, to take them on the track like I did with the cruise text to actually have an apples to apples comparison but just from initial feel and based on rider experience and the level of experience that people have in all honesty just based on my initial impressions I would recommend that you guys go with the cruise text instead of these there, there's I I just cannot you know put put it in words to be honest with you it's just a gut feeling but like, again like I said these don't offer anything more that I felt over the cruise text the cruise text are just more refined that's the word I'm looking for the cruise texts are more refined they are they just feel better somehow I just don't, I don't know how else to put it uh, the vibrations with this one is a little bit weird now it might disappear after a few thousand miles I will report back as uh, I use these a little bit more and I put a lot of more miles on them but so far that's what uh, my opinion is and again you know take it for what it's worth guys they're great tires don't get me wrong I'm not saying anything negative about them I'm just comparing them to what I felt with the cruise text okay now the chain feels great sprockets feel great rear brakes have been uh, bedded in so we are good to go there first thing I'm going to do when I get back is uh, oil the chain when it's hot since I ran it dry for 140 miles by the time I get home and uh, the winks the you know the shorts that I told you guys about I'll show you a picture again I don't know man I, I, I did. <laughs> It didn't do anything you guys look it's like you know wearing diapers I'm sorry man that's just how it feels how it looks it just I don't know I I didn't connect with them put it that way I hope you guys found this helpful man have a great day guys